Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Google Street View to Unreal Engine 5 to make it become a 360 degree panorama in your Unreal Engine 5 game project. For example, this is a first person shooting game project demo. And you can see my background is just a Google Street View 360 degree panorama. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this, how to make it available, how to make the, the Street View available for your Unreal Engine 5 game project. All right. So now I'm going to just close this project first. And I will just start a fresh new project. What you are going to do is just scroll down, go to my video descriptions to just get the FBX file that I provided for you. The 360 degree panorama Unreal Engines.fbx. This is an FBX file. Right, once you download it already, you can just put it on your desktop first. Right, for my I already put the FBX file on my desktop and next just go and download the Street View download 360 this is a software, this is an app, this is a free software you can just go to their official website to download to get the Street View download 360 degree I already downloaded it and already installed in my computer Street, Street View, 360 degree downloads. Right. The third step, just enter your web browser. And then, just go to the Google map, to maps.google.com. This is pretty simple. And now I'm going to just find some street view, for example, Singapore. I click the street view like this, then it is going to show you the street view at the bottom. Just click into that. Now you can see this is the Google street view. So next, what you are going to do is just go and copy this link. Right click to copy and then in your street view 360 degree here just paste the panorama the URL paste it here and the path to save the file as demo I'm going to save it on my desktop here so I just just click the desktop the file name I will just name it as Street View 01, <coughs> something like this. I click save, then click download. Now it is downloading the Street View into your computer. And here you can just wait for a while. Now I can close my browser. Just left a few seconds. It is ready. Once it finish, once it finish downloaded, check your desktop now. You can see it is a JPG file. You can close the Street View download tree. If you check it, this is an equirectangular map. Right, it is going to wrap on the UV sphere. So this is the Street View. Right, next I'm going to open my Unreal Engine 5 as demo I'm going to start just, a, just to start a new project start from beginning now it is loading I will create a new game project for example the first person game or third person game it is up to you then here the project name I'm going to name this as Street View there are module once I click create to create a new project. 
Now the Unreal Engine 5 is loading a new project. Now you can you can see that this is the scene and it really have the sky. Right. Static mesh, the sky. Something like this. Now this is the sky, but you can ignore the sky and just back to back to the scene. Press F. Now this is your scene. Next, in your content browser, just right click to create a new folder, name this as Street View. Double click, and then this is an empty folder. Just import the 360 degree panorama for your Unreal Engine 5, drag in, and then click import all. This is just a sphere. Just close this message lock. Now everything ready. Now you can see your street view is a JPG like this. Just close it first. Import your JPG as well. Drag in. Now this this will be will be the texture, the material for your street view. And you can see you already imported the 360 panorama for your Unreal Engine. This is a static mesh. Just drag in. You can see this is a UV sphere. Of course, you can just press R to make it bigger. Just something like this. Right. Once you play, wait. This static mesh you have to you have to, to set the collision. You can see before that, if you not yet set the collision, what is going to, to happen? If you play now you can see it have certain collision you are unable to enter here. You have certain collision. So you have to set it first. Just double click in and drag it down. Drag it down until you see the collision preset. It is block all. So you have to choose no collision. Then save and close. Now if you play you can see now it already don't have any of the collisions. It is a 360 degree panorama. So now, next is the texture. This is just the texture, the JPG image that I dragged in to import just now. Drag the texture onto the UV sphere. Now it is going to have have the texture. You can see this is the street view. However. It is very dark, right? It automatically generated a material for you, the Street View 01. Just double click the material. And you can see the material is connected to the base color. Just hold the control to just take it down. And then drag it to emissive color. The emissive color here. Done. Save it. This is the self illumination of the texture. Now you save it already, you can close. Now you can see that it is already become very bright and it doesn't have any of the shadow. If you try to play, now you can enter, enter the street view already. And of course, if you want to make it realistic, you have to make it bigger. Just select it and make it bigger like this so that it can it can just become the panorama background of the whole scene then if like this you try to play you will be inside the street view and everything will become very realistic right now you are inside the scenes it will become very realistic like this it is really a 3d the 3D effect of the 360 degree panorama. Right now, it also make 
make your game become more well realistic. Of course, you better make it as big as possible. Just like this. You make it as big as possible. Like this. So when you play, everything will up to the scale. Right. That's all for today about how to import the Google Street View 360 degree panorama into your Unreal Engine 5 game project to make it become a 360 degree panorama. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful for 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.